Um, it's called Rose Quartz one time, another time it's called um, Raisin, Dark Black Raisin or something like that, 004. It's my favorite. It's very hard to find. I just need to find it online and just buy 20 of them. But anyway, so I do this right under the brow and kind of pass it a little bit. It's on purpose, and I bring it down a little. And then I also put it in the inner corner. Tap that off so it doesn't get all over your face. Right on the inner corner. And I go straight up and down. Some people just touch that. I like to get the top in the bottom a little ways in so see it gets the inner corner and the top and the bottom and i lightly especially since it's already had my liner on go right over the lid with the rest of it there and it wakes me up hmm, i was asleep now i'm awake people are probably like why do people always say it wakes you up it makes you look woken up rather than that look you have when you're still sleepy you know oh my gosh i accidentally dried it through the blush Luckily, I have my trusty makeup towel handy. There we go. Let me try that again. Oh, goody. Did it put some blush color in there? I don't think it did. Okay. And um, sometimes it's good to do back and forth like that just to make sure it gets good down in the pores. Because when you just go one direction, sometimes it doesn't get down in there good. Okay, now we're going to do the inner corner. Just look at the difference. You can see the difference. It does make you like go, you know, or something. I don't know. Straight up and down on the inner tear duct. And it gets a little towards the nose. Just a little. And then go over lightly. And I don't know, I might go a lot more. Let's add a little. Let's make it a, a wide-eye day. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to add a little instead of just using the leftovers. Yeah. See how it looks a real nice bright look. Now we're going to use an um, E50, which is a large shader. You know, I just realized by putting that on dark, it's not helping you. How about on the back of my hand? There we go. Um, and it's nice and wide. And the reason you want that is because you're covering a very wide area. And it, to me, it just takes a shorter period of time. And we're going to use this neutral, what I call a neutral color. Some people call it a transition color. Some uh, She calls it the enhance. I don't know, to me, it doesn't enhance, but I, whatever. She's the boss. And I'm going to go above my wing there, just above it, right under the brow, over by the nose, under the brow again, just staying under the brow and the shiny area and coming down into the crease. And I always go back one, with just one sweep over to make sure like right there that I've blended that out together and see it has a nice blended look now and look at the difference between this eye and this eye and that there is a transition between the dark color that's fixing to come okay one day if I really didn't care what my makeup was going to look like for the day I'd do one with and one without and show you how it just makes a nice transition from this shiny brow to a dark color in the crease look a little nicer and see how I'm coming up down up down. So place it up and then come down. Be a little careful since I was so stupid and already put on my liner. Get in the outer area. And then swoosh over it. See how it's a nice blended look. For many of you, for a daytime look, you're done. You don't want any more of this. You could even take a pencil brush and run this under your eye. You want me to do that? I'll do that. Because what it does is give you a little under the eye smoky look. And you don't stay up by the lashes. You go down past the lash line. It almost looks like your mascara blurred. Only it doesn't because it's clearly on purpose. See the look of it? It's just subtle. It just gives a little dark color behind the lashes. Most makeup artists do this. They do this extra step. I don't always do this. And what it's doing is it, it's putting a very subtle transition color under there so that when you come with your uh, short shader, again, it's almost like a transition. So my makeup only, so I do like, instead of get MAC Fix Plus or eye drops. All right, and I'm using a short shader. This is an E20. See it? See it? Some people call a short shader a smudger brush. You stay right on the lash line, like literally 
drag it across the lash line. Be very careful not to go in your eye any time I have. Now because this is a straight up black, it looks like straight up black. Look at the difference. Okay. That's why I didn't use very much. It's black. You don't need a lot. Now some of you may want a real dark look. Do that if you want to. And sometimes both the angling of your hand and because of the way that you muscularly there's my college word of the day muscularly is that true is that even a real word uh the way that you drag across like on this side i'm looser because this is the arm on this side but here i drag more and it almost makes a more defined line now you also could take the leftover and do this along the lash line if you wanted to i don't really want to but i'm doing it just to, at least on the outer because I like the straight line of the liner. Sorry, my ear is itching. There's no ear boogies. Trust me, I know. I have no wax in my ears. My doctor said, you need to quit cleaning your ears so much. Okay. Um, now, for this crease color, I use a tapered blending brush, and that is an E45, to do my crease. Because this is so dramatic a color, they are nothing alike. It, I barely roll it, like just the tip in. I roll it because it's tapered, I roll it. Because otherwise, if you just did it, the little shorter on top versus the shorter on the bottom, it wouldn't all get powder on it. So you have to roll it, in my opinion. You always put down, especially because it's black, in the position of that liner like that. Now I'm going to drag it through. Lightly, ever so lightly. And what this does is it gives depth. So it gives a nice depth, defined depth look, but you gotta go back and forth lightly, lightly, ever so lightly. I do allow this to come up on the inner a little bit because I'm poochy right there. I don't know if it's because my eyes are getting saggy and older, which is probably what the doctor would say, but I think it also is a little bit allergic. Something like something's irritating my eye. It's always that eye, because I don't have it on this side. And if it was just aging, I think that you would, um, Y'all just have reflection in my eyeball. That's like if you have a cataract. Anyway. Okay, so see the difference? See how this is more defined than this? You could go out during the day like this. Matter of fact, you could do this and take this with you. And then, if you're going out that night, just add this. And it looks much more fancy. Matter of fact, you could do a little tip end of this. And run it under the outer V. Just out the outer V. And they'll just... It gives a little more depth. Now for me, I don't mind, since I'm doing this very lightly, to wear this as a work look. It is a bit dramatic for work. I could just go like this. Again, I'm going to go in the direction of the liner. Just to make sure I got that color. And it doesn't pooch down. There's a big black spot. Okay, again, I don't know if it's the angle... Or the pressure I put from this arm to that arm, but this is already look how dark, how much darker this is than that. Or maybe I loaded the brush more. Again, it could be the angle which pulls the brush a different way. It could be a lot of things, but just make sure you blend it good. And again, we're gonna, I'm so sorry. We're gonna just also make sure it blends out there. But look, that almost even went higher too. So now I've got to even that up, or it's gonna look weird. I think that's okay. What do y'all think? Okay, so now the next thing that she has is contour. So let's get some, some brushes. Where's my brushes? What do we got? Using my Morphe brushes now. Uh, because my other face brushes are in my bathroom that are my um, Sigma Beauty. Alright, so this is a Morphe Y10. I'm not sure what... I hate when things are just numbers. It doesn't say what it is, but to me, I could use this for contour, so I am. Lightly tapping it in there because I have no idea how strong this is going to be on this brush. You can always build, but it's hard to take it back off. You can with a powder brush, just blend it out. I'm going more at an angle, not this way, but this way. Why? Because I have chipped my cheeks. Matter of fact, when I smile, I can see where it should come to, right there. 
And that's enough. See how it gives just a bit of a shadow on this side that this doesn't have. And that's all you want with bronzer. <clears throat> I'm sorry, contour. Now, bronzer, you do more to make you look like you have more color, like a tan. You know what I mean? Again, smile so you can see where that should come down to, right here. I'm still keeping it up on this bone up here. So, why do I do that? So that this white underneath will be highlighted. See that? So it almost gives you a cheekbone you don't have. How's that look? Alright, now I'll be a little more gutsy with it. I'm going to get under here the piggy fat that I'm determined to lose weight and get rid of. We're just going to have to do it together. Maybe we'll do it together. I'm going to do a little more and make this line right there. So it'll give me a shadow, but you must blend down very, very well or you're going to have a brown line on your neck. Go past your ear and blend it out real good. And see how that just gives a little bit of a shadow. There we go. But blend it down good so it doesn't look like you did that. <laughs> so nobody but me will know. Other makeup girls will know. And they'll think, oh, what a good job of blending she did. All right, and then come up on the outer area of your hairline and then down on your temples, just blending back and forth. Don't make it a line. You've got to do a little of this back and forth so it's not a line. Why am I moving my bangs? You think your bang it's not even going to show. You never know if the wind blows and then it would be embarrassing. There's all kinds of wind in the office, trust me. Lots of hot air. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <clears throat> The most important thing, when you have a big nose, under the nose, if you have a big bulbous in like I do, so do this. Blow out so it doesn't go up your nose. Other people tell you to go down this way and this way. What that does is make you look like a big brown nose. So, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. I'll put it that way. And again, I'm going to go right under here. That is just not wanting to darken up. It's just fat wants to be white. I don't know why. And that little jelly thing there and there. Just, but blend it good because it looks awful if you don't blend it. 